Hello. Hi, good evening. Thanks for coming, everybody. My name is Mrs. Haram, first grade teacher, and this is Mrs. Allen, second grade teacher. Okay, hopefully you know some of us, anyways. Most of us, all of us. All right, welcome to the Hall of Presidents. We've been doing this show for a long time. It's, there, it's always unique every year. Lots of different children, lots of different costumes. It's great. Um, the children you're about to see are first and second graders, or at least they used to be. Okay, at the beginning of January, or more at the end of December, we pulled names out of the hat. And then in January, when they came back after vacation, we started talking about the Hall of Presidents, um, what it meant, researching, um, and so forth and so on. And we couldn't have better than you guys, so thank you so very much. Thank you. <laughs> um, so with the help of the families, they transformed themselves into that president. Today we have 35 presidents standing in front of the American flag, which you will see in a few minutes. Um, they're dressed in the clothes that they would have been wearing um, back in the day, and then some more current presidents. Um, each president will be telling a little bit about him or himself, not herself yet. Um, a little fun fact is some of them, they have some props that they're going to be picking up off the stage as they come up and um, say their lines and enjoy the show. Oh, if you could just hold your applause until the very end, until everybody's done, and then Mrs. Allen will have a little chat, she'll tell you what's going on. Um, there, were some pamph there were some pamphlets at the circular tables at both entrances there and here, and then the names of the presidents and your child's name um, to match with that. So take that home, it's a little safety. In the, um, the portraits in the back, I'm here to look at Mrs. Allen will talk more about it, but leave the reports on the table, you can look at them, but we haven't graded them yet, um, so we kind of like to do that during vacation, and then we'll send them home with you to them. Keep and enjoy. Okay, enjoy the show. Open the curtains. My name is James Monroe. I was the fifth president of the United States. My home state is Virginia. An interesting fact about me is I was only 16 years old when I left home for college.
My name is John My name is John Gutierrez. I was the sixth president of the United States. My home state is Massachusetts. I was the sixth president. Interesting fact about me is Early mornings, I went swimming in the White House. My name is Andrew Jackson. I was the seventh president of the United States. I was born in Watson area between North and South Carolina. An interesting fact about me is I was the only person to fight in the war. My name is Martin Van Horn. I was the eighth president of the United States. I hunted in New York. An interesting fact about me is my nickname, Old Kinderhood, is why we use OK to mean something is our life. My name is William Henry Harrison. I was the ninth president of the United States. My home state is Virginia. An interesting fact about me is my campaign slogan, Tippy Canoe Pirate Two, is one of the most famous campaign slogans in history. <laughs>
My name is Thomas Willis, and the 20 years that I have been in high school to I hope she is the gender. I entered the park of Obama years and I don't know who this was. I was the 41st president of the United States. 
My home state is Massachusetts. An interesting fact about me is I was a member of the Yale Cheerleading Squad. And I just had a couple questions for Ms. Allen and Ms. Harung, okay. who are the reasons this whole event happened. So first off, uh, how long have you guys been doing this? 
I've been doing it for about 19 years. And I started a couple years after that. There was another teacher that did it with Mrs. Harank, and when she left, I took over. So we've been a duo ever since. <laughs> what skills do you hope that the kids learn from this? Well, I'll start. Um, so second graders, it is part of our curriculum that they need to do a research project. So for us, it is um, having them start to do a research project. They do do um, help. They have help at home with their families. Um, and also to learn a little bit about history. Second graders are very excited to learn about the president, all the fun, funny stuff, and just even to find out how long ago that some of these people lived. And I think for the first graders is that um, understanding what history means and what a president is and duties and so forth and so on in the White House and also to be able to learn and understand what a research project is or being able to read some information. And in first grade, they have to do it as a family, so it is a village that really supports the kids doing this. Um, being able to um, write neatly in a report, going through editing skills, um, and memorizing and being articulate on stage the best that they can without being really nervous like myself. <laughs> yes. Well, they did a fabulous job. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. It was great. Thank you.